welcome back to my channel my name is Laura and I am doing week three of the poetry uh, that I wrote uh, in November and I'm gonna do a flip through of seven days uh, so from the 15th to the 23rd I believe uh, and I have my paper bookmarks into the flip to the page so here we go Prompt number 15 was pick an old photo and write five things uh, about uh, the photo. Uh, so uh, the photo would be called Me Back Then. And here's a photo that I chose to do. Uh, and I'm going to go a little bit far, higher, uh, closer. This is me here on the left. Uh, that's my friend Patricia on the right. Uh, so I had to pick five things th about this photo. Uh, this photo was taken in 1987. I was uh, 17 years old. It's the year I met Evan. Uh, my job changed since then and I am very thin in that photo. So here is my five things. Uh, one, appearance. Happy, age 17 senior year i was about a hundred pounds there it was taken on halloween two days before i started dating evan uh which is my husband now number two is current live currently living i was living in staten island with my parents uh and number three is this was taken in my old kitchen we had a built-in sunroof that was added to our house Number four, what were your dreams or future directions at that time? I was working at ShopRite as a cashier bookkeeper. I enjoyed it, yet needed something full time. Number five, were dreams fulfilled? Nope, had to leave for full time work, wound up being a legal secretary. So that's what we did for prompt number five. Okay, prompt number 16 was a memoir poem so you had to take the five things that you wrote the day before and write a poem about it so here is my memoir poem uh, i took the photo again and i took out my friend uh, and i wrote this poem so it says blast from the past it certainly went very fast 1987 was the year Age 17, my future was unclear. Halloween was my favorite holiday. That hasn't changed, what can I say? Two days later, I met my love of my life. Eight years later, I became his wife. I worked as a bookkeeper, now I'm a housekeeper. I did not struggle with my weight. Today, I struggle with every plate. I did not attend church. I'm still doing lots of research. I had no clue I'd be a Jew. I always thought I'd be a t I'd have a twin. God bless me with triplets. I win. So that's what I wrote there. Okay, prompt number seventeen: patchwork poem. Think of it like a collage of portions of famous paintings put together in one piece. Start in one, one. Start out in one tense. Stay in that tense. Two. Use two lines of poetry from each poet. Three, you may change words, copy and paste then, and add your own words. Five, think of a theme and search life in quarantine was, um, those are the themes that she suggested. Anyway, so here's my poem and I wrote about every day and I did actually did this one wrong because I wasn't supposed to add my own words. So I did do two of these poems. So the first one. Every day I open my eyes, I rise, I rise, I rise. And that's by Maya Angel Angeli. I write in my prayer journal, I pray, I pray, I pray. Can you put the finger on the day when we never again did play? The news is like a knife of life, of life, of life. I feel so blue, I am so tired of waiting, aren't you? The only thing to look forward to is a full mailbox. I hope, I hope, I hope. Laugh and the world laughs with you. Weep and you weep alone. When things aren't going your way, please don't have a fit. Rest if you must, but don't you quit. Don't quit, don't quit, don't quit. Time to go to bed and stay. 
Close your eyes and let your imagination fly away. Try not to be stressed. Sleep and rest. Sleep and rest. I dream, I dream, I dream. So I wrote that and I added my own words in between other, uh, other um, poems. And then I decided I did it wrong and I wrote another poem. And this time I only used poets uh, information. And this is what I wrote on this page. I am so tired of waiting. Aren't you? I pondered for an answer. I was looking for a clue. And once the storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through. Life is strange with its twists and turns. Look and look again. This world is ju not just a little thrill for the eyes. So dawn goes down today. Nothing gold can stay. So that's my second poem. Okay, prompt number 18. Make a list of beliefs your younger self was taught that was damaging to your self-worth. Even though you know you're not true, they're not true, write them down. Two, now write an apology to yourself. Uh, self, write it in a form of a poem. So money, and then my list was here. Money doesn't grow on trees. Always find the cheapest price. Use coupons and God is everywhere. So my poem, I decided to do a Tonka poem, which is line five, um, five syllables seven syllables five syllables seven syllables seven, seven syllables i really like this it's a lot of fun to write because it doesn't have to rhyme so here's my uh little apology i apologize i apologize money doesn't grow on trees you must use coupons everything is expensive sugar plum will be mine soon and i was doing about the sugar plum notebook and i did order one it is coming in the mail uh but that's by cheek sparrow and i wanted that so much that day that i wound up writing a poem about it okay uh prompt number 20 the first time i ever write a free verse poem about the first time you did something remarkable anything so here is my um poem it is called the best things come in small packages and um i hope i don't cry while i'm right reading this but here we go my dream was to be a mom at age 34 i needed to re re remain calm my do doctor told me bad news i needed to choose to the specialist we went an arm and a leg we spent lots of tests were done it was not fun Many months of tears. Infertility was one of my fears. Sugary was surgery. I'm sorry. Surgery was performed. Unexplained infertility. We were informed. Insurance issued drugs. I needed lots of hugs. Several months passed. It was not fast. I was losing hope. I could not cope. We gave it one last try. I just wanted to cry. I went to work. I was going berserk. I took a test. I was so depressed. It had t two lines, but I had no signs. Doctor gave me a blood test and told me to rest. The results came in. We had a big win. My husband was stressed. We were blessed. I was pregnant with not one, but three. This completed our family tree. So that's ended there. Uh, the next one, I made another poem about Sugar Plum, uh, the notebook that's coming out. Uh, it's called Purple Sugar Plum. Limit one, how do you choose? Favorite color. The struggle is really hard. What is everyone getting? So, and I am, I actually finished the book here and I'm going into the next book and it's one more prompt which is prompt number 21 uh it's called i spy with my little eye something special find three small things you treasure place them in a box on a table or on a plate do this in the daytime with plenty of light take a photo write a poem including illusions about the object but do not say so outrightly so here is my poem for this one. Here's my picture and here's my poem. It's called I Spy. 
My grandmother gave me this gift. She sits on top of my kitchen windowsill. She watches over the family. Psalm 91:11. He will order his guardians to protect you wherever you go. She holds one heart, which is mine. She's there to remind us God will protect us. This little animal sits in my living room. He w was given to me by my other grandmother before she passed away. He invites good luck and fortune. His trunk points to the front door. He invites positive energy. This last object is glass. It came from Hawaii and my in-laws my in -laws took a trip. It too sits in my living room. It shines from the light. Listen to the song, Shining Lights by the Next Step. Its sails are crystal blue and green, reminds me of the ocean. So that is it for today. That is the seven prompts. I have one more week and there will be a flip through of their entire book. Uh, we're supposed to put it up on December 2nd. So hopefully I will have it up on December 2nd. Thank you for watching and I am really enjoying this poetry and I definitely will be adding poetry to my regular journaling prompts. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.